If you're on Facebook or YouTube right now watching a pickleball video, you'll probably see troll comments like pickleball is not a sport or play tennis, pickleball is stupid, something like that. Well, in the pro tennis and pro pickleball world, this argument just got ignited. Pickleball lovers, let's get ready to have a good day. Well, I'm amazed that, that people take it quite as seriously as, as they apparently do um, <laughs> compared to our sport. But that's, you know, for other people to decide. I would compare it to the NFL. Uh, it's like a poor man's arena football. You know, uh, <laughs> Whoa. And let's face it, most of these comments come from low level tennis players that think that good that are actually snobs themselves, right? Pro pickleball player Christian Alshon ignited a firestorm from 4-5 and 5-0 experienced tennis players and pro tennis players from what he said about pickleball. Here it is. Pickleball has made me a much better athlete than tennis ever did. Faster reaction time and speed are needed since the ball is only coming from 10 feet away. I believe it's 14. Don't quote me on that. Point for point, pickleball requires more skill than tennis. By 2025, the tennis pros like Sock will be better than him. Out of all the tennis pros that have transferred over, most of them are not great at pickleball right away. And even after a year, they're still not amazing. Pro tennis player Nick Kyrgios was pretty upset at the statement and said delete right now and hide under the bed. Now he does have his battles with mental illness, don't we all? Pro tennis player James Lake pretty much said Christian Oshaw never played pro tennis, played low level tennis and has no idea what he's talking about. Andy Roddick then replied to James Blake saying if any pro pickleball player goes to the pro tennis circuit and finishes the year higher than Jack Sock. Now Jack Sock was a pro tennis player and went over to pickleball and is doing pretty well. He would commentate a game on his head. So if a pro pickleball player finishes a year in tennis, higher than Jack Sock in pickleball, he would commentate a game on his head. But let's face it, Andy Roddick never had a backhand, had a huge serve, didn't have the best hand-eye, could never volley, so he'll never be a good pickleball player, so he's bitter. John McEnroe, who is well known for harsh, unsolicited statements about pickleball, yet continues to make money off of pickleball by making millions off these charity events. In my mind, he is a definition of a tennis snob. He screams, needs everything the right way, argues over line calls. Tennis, okay? Tennis! <laughs> Pickleball! No, no. We're still tennis players, right guys? Except for Jack. And that's not pickleball. Pickleball is a sport for the masses. It's easy to learn, but takes over four years to master, if not a lifetime. And Christian Alshon's other point is that pickleball is a relatively new sport, which is why really good athletes can jump into it right now, but it won't always be the case. Tennis has been around for over 100 years. Pickleball was created in Washington in the 1970s, 80s. I have no idea when it was created, but it's not nearly as old as tennis, and that's his point. Then Christian Alshon went one step farther and challenged all tennis snobs to play pickleball for six months, and then he would beat the heck out of them in pickleball. No one took the bait. I mean, this pickleball thing's crazy. I don't get it. But um, in the meantime, uh, you know, hopefully it'll be fun. And hopefully it'll bring some interest to the sport that I do really care about, which is tennis. You know, what you can do with the ball is limited. It's plastic. Uh, you've got little rackets like you're playing racquetball or squash. Honestly, I really like how Christian Alshon is bantering. I think he has a case. Pickleball and tennis players never will like each other. We're still on that courts. We can't be friends. And let's face it, other than being a paddle or racket sport, pickleball and tennis don't have a ton in common other than we could fit like two pickleball courts on one tennis court, tennis snobs. It really doesn't, right? The balls are different, paddles to rackets, and it's really like comparing apples to oranges. Pickleball lovers, what takes more skill, pickleball or tennis? Please leave your comments. Save 10% on any paddle. Codes in description saves you money and keeps us in business. The only win-win in life. And let's not forget to have a good day.